Jumpstart once had these amazing games who were 3D and you got to play in a virtual world solving puzzles with Pierre the Panda, racing against Keisha the Tiger, creating inventions with Hops the Rabbit, reading books with Eleanor the Elephant, and going on incredible adventures with CJ the Frog for three years, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. Unfortunately, the games got discontinued and many people lost their childhood games. Well today, I'm going to go over the first installment of the 3D Virtual World games, Kindergarten. There are timestamps at the description if you want to navigate quickly between all the different badges. Hope you enjoy! In order to become an Ultimate Jump Scout, you need to earn 12 different badges that can be obtained by doing good deeds, learning new skills, and helping others around the camp. Those are called Jump Scout Missions. In addition, you will also need to do different mini-games that will teach you math, reading comprehension, and more in the Math and Reading Arcade. After getting a badge, it will be displayed on the badge board behind Frankie, the dog. He is the Jump Scout leader. After the introduction, you are told that the only Jump Scout ever to achieve the Ultimate Jump Scout badge was Grizzly McGuffin. He was the best Jump Scout Jumpstart has ever seen. But it's still a mystery how he got all the badges. The first badge you will try to achieve is the Friendship Badge. First, you get to know Camp Jumpstart. It is the main area where all of the Jump Scouts will always be. Another Jump Scout I didn't mention yet is Botley. He is a robot and he gives helpful information if you are not sure what to do. There is the Math Arcade and the Reading Arcade where you will go to do learning games and earn Blue Gems. Blue Gems is the currency in Jumpstart and with it you can buy decorations, accessory, music and more in the Zippy Mart. In camp, there is also an art studio where you can draw and color different cards, pictures, and frames. You get to know all of the characters. Hops likes to play hide and seek. Keisha likes to race. Pierre's flute game is a blast. Catching hoverflies with Eleanor is always fun. And catching fish with CJ is amazing. You walk with the arrow keys and to talk to someone you press him with your mouse or you press the space bar when you are near him. Hops gives you the most useful invention you will ever get, the map of Jumpstart, which allows you to teleport anywhere you want. You unlock the cabins, which is the place where you can decorate your cabin, make me shirts, and display your trophies. After collecting the friendship badge, your reward item is a pair of running shoes, so you can get around the map faster. The last challenge you do before moving on to the next badge is the badge challenge. It's Keisha's birthday, so you need to make her a birthday card in the art studio and get all of the Jump Scouts to sign it. After giving the card to Keisha, she tells you that you are a very thoughtful and a real friend. The next badge you will be going for is the Teamwork Badge. You start off by helping CJ find his missing book, The Mysteries of Camp Jumpstart. After consulting with Botley, you learn the book is green and brown and that you can buy it at the Zippy Mart. After buying and giving the book to CJ, he starts reading it and sees what new adventures are in it. Now you are introduced to a new part in Jumpstart, Pet Valley. Here you can adopt a pet. He or she can be a dog, cat, or pig. You can also buy hats, food, and water for your pet. You can shower and groom your pet, and you can train your pet Trix in the pet house. The pet house is owned by Trixie. Next, red magical orbs lead you to another part of Jumpstart, Dinosaur Raceway. Coach Bailey is in charge of keeping all the Jump Scouts healthy and strong. In Dinosaur Raceway, you race. If you beat three or more Jump Scouts in a race tournament, you will earn a trophy, bronze, silver, or gold. CJ tells you about a chapter he read in the book you got him, about magic red orbs. It says that the tree of knowledge on top of Camp Jumpstart holds many of these orbs. Next, you make a me shirt in your cabin, which is basically a shirt that you can draw or add pictures on, and your character will wear it. The first race tournament now happens. You must race Eleanor, Hops, CJ, Pierre, and Keisha in order to get the highest trophy, the gold trophy. The trophy is displayed in your cabin. After earning the teamwork badge, your reward item is a net, and with it you can catch leaves, hoverflies, and more. Then, you clean the camp by catching hoverflies, collecting whistles, catching leaves, painting new pictures, and adding music to the music stand.
You start the Helpfulness Badge by collecting more orbs with CJ in Dinosaur Raceway, and you end up finding a new place in Jumpstart, Ivy's Meadows. Ivy's Meadows is a magical place guarded by Ivy, Keeper of the Meadows. Here, you can plant flowers and compete in catch tournaments. In the meadows, many hoverflies, weeds, rocks, and more destroy the grass, so it's your job to keep the meadows clean. Next, you come along Friendship Park, which is another place in Pet Valley. Here, you can catch hoverflies with Eleanor, plant flowers, put music, and put up pictures that you've drawn. Eleanor has gone missing. Apparently, she's gone to Ivy's Meadows to enjoy her book, but got trapped because many hoverflies appeared and she forgot her net. You save the day by catching all the hoverflies and freeing Eleanor. Now, the party at Friendship Park has begun, but all the pets must be cleaned. It's Fairy Day and Ivy deserves a gift. The scout suggests getting her three green gems. She loves it! Now, five pages of Eleanor's poem need to be retrieved. Two were in the cabins, one in camp, one in Dinosaur Wasteway, and the last one in the meadows. After getting the helpfulness badge, your reward item is a pass card to the training center. The first trick you train your pet is to roll over. More red orbs are found in Dinosaur Raceway. Where are they coming from? The first catch tournament in the meadows are held. Can you get the gold trophy? To earn the Dependability Badge, you start off by teaching your pet the jump trick. Next, you are introduced to the last part of Pet Valley, Redwood Park. Here, your pet competes in pet tournaments. If your pet successfully does the most tricks in a limited time, you'll win the gold trophy. Next, you compete in the second catch tournament. In order to raise awareness of the first pet tournament in Redwood Park, you must place four pictures in the billboards at the Camp Fountain, near the art studio, at Redwood Park, and near the pet house. Some more magical red orbs appear in Ivy's Meadows. The invitations for the next pet tournament got blown away because of the wind. There are two piles at camp, another in Dinosaur Raceway, and at Ivy's Meadows. You must catch them all with your net. Time for the second race tournament. Beat all the Gem Scouts to earn the gold trophy. The moment that we've all been waiting for is almost here, the pet tournament. To prepare, you need to clean your pet and teach him the new 360 trick. Now you're ready to compete in the second pet tournament. Try to get the gold trophy. After gaining the dependability badge, your reward item is a camera. You can use it to take a picture of anything. Test it by taking a photo of your pet in your favorite place in Jumpstart. While Frankie is gone visiting his grandma, you must help around the camp by catching the leaves at the cabins, buy new music for Pet Valley, and take care of Frankie's dog Rover. The first step to gain the nature badge is to learn how to grow and plant flowers. To do this, you need to go into the greenhouse owned by Zuzu. There you can buy seeds, food, and lights. Every flower has its different kind of food and light that he needs. At the end, pour water on the seed to make it grow into a flower. Finally, you can plant the flower wherever you want in Jumpstart. Eleanor wants to make a book about all the people in Camp Jumpstart. To help, you need to take a photo of CJ, Keisha, Pierre, Hops, Botley, Frankie, Zuzu, Trixie, and Coach Bailey. You need to find out every Jump Scout's favorite flower and plant it next to their cabin. CJ's favorite is the Groovy Ivy. Hobbs's is a Glowberry Bush. Keisha's is a Dragon Spark. Pierre's is a Merry Mushroom. And Eleanor's is a Rosy Posy. All of this will cost you a total of 100 gems. That's equal to 7 learning games. To help Frankie deliver ice cream cones to all of the Jump Scouts, you need to figure out what is each Scout's favorite flavor. Pierre's favorite is strawberry, Keisha's is vanilla, Hops's is chocolate, Eleanor's is peanut, and CJ's is pistachio. After earning the Nature Badge, your reward item is a mallet. It lets you break big rocks that are blocking your way. To destroy weeds in the meadows, you must have the Grand Oak Wand. It is hidden somewhere in Dinosaur Raceway, behind some rocks. To use it, you must destroy the big weed in the center, and only then the small ones around it. Next, you compete in the third catch tournament. To earn the Cheerfulness Badge, start off by meeting a new character, the Zippy Mart owner. He tells you a package has gone missing and inside there is a surprise. Apparently, it's in Sunny Shores. 
Sunny Shores is a sandy beach and you can swim above the water and under it. This is the place where the swim tournaments are held. A lot of magical red orbs appear in the water and it leads you to Tiki Island. Thankfully, the package is on the island. Inside there are comic books that makes all the Jump Scouts cheerful. After that, the bridge up to the cabins is blocked by rocks and it is disturbing your race against Keisha. Clear them all and bin her. Same thing happened to Pierre. Rocks are blocking the music stand. After clearing them, Pierre asks you to put in the music CD, Rock and Roll Volume 2. Next, Eleanor found rocks in Friendship Park, exactly where she wants to play catch with you. Where are all these rocks coming from? More rocks are blocking the entrance to the pet house. Once in, teach your pet the backflip trick. Even more rocks appear in Redwood Park. Clear them and participate in the third pet tournament. After that, participate in the fourth catch tournament. Rocks and weeds are now blocking the race track. Clear them and compete in the third race tournament. Meanwhile, another catch tournament, the fifth one. After gaining the cheerfulness badge, your reward item is a pair of swim goggles. Before the tournament, practice swimming by collecting all the red orbs on the surface of the water. Now it's time for the first swim tournament. Just like racing, beat all the jump scouts to get the gold trophy. In order to earn the Adventure Badge, CJ informs you of a secret message and a piece of paper he found in his Adventurer's book. It says, My Favorite Place by Grizzly McGuffin. It was in the chapter of Meadow Hills, which is another part of Ivy's Meadows. There, you can catch hoverflies, get rid of rocks and weeds, and collect many magical red orbs. Eleanor is scared of the next swim tournament, so to cheer her up, you catch some hoverflies and sunny shores with her. Now it's time for the second swim tournament. Hobbs had five sets of nuts and bolts for his deck's invention, but he lost all of them in his favorite hiding places. Play hide and seek with Hobbs to find the nuts and bolts behind the art studio, next to the greenhouse, in Friendship Park, next to the math arcade, and finally, next to the music player at the fountain. After buying Hobbs some string, he can build his next invention. To celebrate Flower Friends Day, plant some Jump Scout's pet's favorite flowers next to their cabin. Keisha's pet Champ likes rosy posies. CJ's pet Splunky likes glowberry bushes, and Eleanor's pet Daisy likes diva daisies. Pierre sets you on an adventure to find a magical shell in sunny shores, but before that, enter the third swim tournament. After asking Cappy, he tells you that it is in the cave blocked by rocks. Use your mallet to enter the cave and collect the shell. Some Jump Scout's pets have gone missing. Retrieve them in Camp, Ivy's Meadows, Friendship Park, and Meadow Hills. Now you can teach your pet a new trick. Walk on back legs! Next, participate in the 4th pet tournament and the 4th swim tournament. After gaining the adventure badge, your reward item is a fishing net. With it, you can catch twirly whirlies at sunny shores, which are basically fish. Next, compete in the 4th race tournament. To get the sharing badge, start by joining the 5th race tournament. Next, CJ wants to share his fish with Trixie, the pet house owner, so the pets can be fed and the fifth pet tournament can be held. The remaining fish go back to Cappy. The meadow's tree is surrounded by weeds again. Clear away the weed with your grand oak wand and plant four new flowers in the blue planter. Take a photo of the tree and put it in the meadow hills. After all that, compete in the sixth catch tournament. In order to enter the fifth swim tournament, Buy fish from the Zippy Mart and catch Twirly Whirlies with CJ, and then enter the tournament. To celebrate your victory, paint a picture and put it by Cappy's hut. Buy a new pet hat for each pet in camp. Eleanor's pet Daisy wants a yellow-pink bubble band. Pierre's pet Jazzy wants a sleeping cap. Hops's pet JB wants a cowboy hat. CJ's pet Splunky wants a fishing hat. Keisha's pet Champ wants a red-blue baseball cap. Next, make a picture book for Trixie with all of the pet's new hats. For that, you get the dance trick for your pet. After earning the sharing badge, your reward item is a pair of scuba fins, which will let you swim underwater and compete in scuba tournaments. In order to go underwater, use the whirlpools with flags on the surface of the sea. Underwater, you can collect pearls and catch squish fish. CJ tells you that the first scout to find Grizzly's treasure will be the ultimate jump scout. Ivy wants you to collect red orbs for her and she will reveal the location of the treasure. After collecting the orbs in Ivy's meadows, she reveals it is somewhere very wet. Underwater in sunny shores, you find the treasure next to a sunken ship, but it's locked. 
CJ unlocks it, but it doesn't contain any treasure. All it has is a picture of Grizzly's camp friends. That can't be his treasure, can it? To start earning the Politeness Badge, find Hops' pet JB and clean Eleanor's pet Daisy. Next, play with your pet Ball in Friendship Park to get the first piece of the badge. Collect pearls under the sea for Cappy, and while you're at it, collect the ancient sea orchid by the seaweed field for Zuzu. More grisly treasure is said to be found in Dinosaur Raceway, but after exploring with Keisha, you don't find anything. The first scuba tournament is ready to begin. Put on your snorkels. The Zippy Mart owner needs your help to collect supplies for a delivery. Start by catching hoverflies in Meadow Hills, then collect pearls and catch twirly whirlies in Sunny Shores. Before you can continue though, CJ wants to find more grizzly treasure. In a secret path between the reading arcade and the cabins, you find magical orbs that lead up to nothing. A dead end. Bring back the supplies to the Zippy Mart owner. The second scuba tournament is on its way. Try to get that golden trophy. Hoverflies at Meadow Hills and Tiki Island are disturbing Botley's scanning abilities. Catch them all. After that, Botley detects many orbs in camp, collect them all. After earning the politeness badge, your reward item is a special texture that Grizzly McGuffin added on his cabin. Add it to yours and take a photo of your new cabin. The last character you meet in kindergarten is John Claude. He is the sea monster under the sea. He doesn't like when scouts disturb him, so make him a nice card. Clean John Claude's cave and get him a new gem lantern to brighten up his area. To thank you, John tells you that Grizzly's treasure is hidden somewhere underwater. After finding it, bring it to CJ. Inside is a bunch of tournament trophies that Grizzly has been winning. That's his treasure? In the start of the Fairness Badge, you explore the final part of Jumpstout introduced in Kindergarten, the Secret Garden. The garden could look really beautiful if there weren't so many weeds. Clear them all. Next, grow some flowers to pretty the place up. Finally, add some party music to the music player in the garden. Before the sixth race tournament, buy a new checkered flag at the Zippy Mart and bring it to Coach Bailey. Then, catch the hoverflies on the track. Now, Ivy wants you to play in the seventh catch tournament. CJ finds a secret to-do list written by Grizzly McGuffin in the secret garden, but it's torn. Keisha, Eleanor, and Hops give you a part of the list, and the final piece of Grizzly's to-do list is found at Sunny Shores by CJ. At the end, the list says, Get new shoes, repair net, practice, and always be fair. To train for the third scuba tournament, collect all the orbs and catch all the squish fish above and below water. After earning the fairness badge, your reward item is Pierre's musical flute. Buy four music notes to add to the flute. The flute helps you uncover buried things. The closer you get to something, the more the magic flute will light up. Next, play a game with each jump scout. Catch hoverflies with Eleanor, race against Keisha, catch fish with CJ, play hide and seek with Hops, compete in the 8th catch tournament, and finally, look for treasure with Pierre's magic flute and bring it to CJ. Inside there are shoes with worn out heels and a broken net. What could it all mean? To start the bravery badge, catch a new type of hoverflies. They are blue and green, and catch more squish fish under the sea. After you caught them all, enter the sixth swim tournament. John Claude is afraid of squish fish, so catch them all. Next, get the new Tiki Tunes from the Zippy Mart so John can enjoy new music. Finally, make John a picture and buy him a pet fish so he won't feel so lonely. To prepare for the sixth pet tournament, play ball with your pet. Feed it and dress the Jump Scout's pets in new hats. Ivy lost her three jewels. Find them in the cabins and at Pet Valley with the help of Pierre's magic flute. Return the jewels to Ivy and compete in the ninth catch tournament. CJ saw red orbs by the Tree of Knowledge. Follow them to find a treasure chest. Inside, you find Grizzly McGuffin's old book of learning games. After earning the bravery badge, your reward item is a magic baton. With it, when you change the music at the music stand by the fountain, the bubbles will change. Trixie's pet is lost. Follow the orbs behind the reading arcade to find Hops. He tells us that Trixie's dog ran to the Tree of Knowledge. Clear the weeds at the entrance of the tree door to find Trixie's dog inside. Turns out it's Grizzly's house. Put his old book back on his mantle to reveal that Grizzly McGuffin is the Zippy Mart owner. <laughs> 
Do everything you learned the entire year to earn the Ultimate Scout Badge. Make a me shirt. Buy new shoes. Join the Ultimate Race Tournament. Catch hoverflies with Eleanor. Join the Ultimate Catch Tournament, which consists of two parts. Collect magical red orbs. Fish twirly whirlies with CJ. Join the Ultimate Swim Tournament. Join the Ultimate Pet Tournament, which consists of three different tracks. Play ball with your pet. Catch squish fish under the water. Join the Ultimate Scuba Tournament. Take a photo of John Claude. And finally, play a learning game. You are now the first scout since Grizzly McGuffin to earn all the badges. Grizzly wants to speak to you in the Seeker Garden. He says that he is extremely proud of you and the Ultimate Scout Badge Challenge now begins. Clear all the leaves and plant flowers in the garden. Four dandelions at the red planter and four happy snappies at the purple planter. Next, add the Jump Scart Jam CD at the music player at the garden. Then, make a picture at the art studio and put it up on the billboard at the secret garden. After that, wash your pet at the pet house and put the graduation hat on him. Next, give gifts to everybody in Camp Jump Scart. Collect pearls for Ivy, buy Coach Bailey a new whistle, give Trixie a photo of your pet, get Cappy a Poké Dot Pig to keep him company, and finally, make a card to give to Grizzly. Now bring Frankie the best gift of all. A yearbook. Take a photo of all of the scouts and bring them to Ivy who makes the yearbook. Give the yearbook to Frankie. And that was everything you need to do in Jumpstart 3D Virtual World Kindergarten. This was a really fun video to make. Write down in the comments if you want me to make another video like this for Jumpstart 3D Virtual World First Grade. That is it from me. See you next time. Peace.